Hello friends through this video we will learn the concept of arches and lintels in very systematic manner. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. An arch is an opening to support the weight of the wall or a load above it along with other superimposed loads. A structure, especially one of masonry, forming the curved, an inverted U, pointed, or flat upper edge of an open space and supporting the weight above it, as in a bridge or doorway. However, arches are constructed where one loads are heavy, two span is more, three strong abutment is available, four special architectural appearance is required. Terms Abutment is the end support of an arch slash the general mass of masonry that supports one end of the arch. Extradose is a construction line denoting outer limit of the arch slash it is the outer curve of an arch. Impost is the masonry piece that one end of the arch sits on. Int Aradus is the inner curve of an arch. Keystone is a central voussoir that is quite often decorated in some way. When the arch is being built it is always built up evenly from side to side and the last stone placed is the keystone. Voussoirs the individual slash wedge shaped masonry pieces that make up an arch. Arcade, it is a row of arches in continuation. Crown, the top section of a curved arch slash it is the highest part of extra dose. Haunch, the first few voussoirs up from the springing line slash it is the lower half of the arch between the crown and skew back. Pier, this is an intermediate support of an arcade. Skew back is inclined surface on the abutment. Soffit is a surface. Span is the horizontal distance between the supports. Span drill is a curved triangular space formed between the extradose and the horizontal line through the crown. Springing line, a horizontal construction line denoting the starting of the curve in curved arches, or the bottom of a flat arch. Rise is the vertical distance between the highest point of the int aradus and the springing line. Classification of arches. An arch can be classified as according to shape, based on number of centers, based on material and workmanship. Classification according to shape. Flat arch, a flat arch has usually the angle formed by skew backs as 60 degrees, thus forming an equilateral triangle with int aradus as the base. The extradose is kept horizontal and flat. Flat arches are used for light loads and for spans up to 1.5 meters. Segmental arch. The center of arch lies below the springing line or lies on the springing line. Horseshoe arch, the arch has the shape of a horseshoe, which is more than a semicircle. Such type of arch is provided mainly from architectural considerations. Pointed arch, it consists of two arcs of circles meeting at the apex. The triangle formed may be either equilateral which is also known as gothic arch or isosceles which is also called as lancet arch. Venetian arch, this is another form of pointed arch which has deeper depth at crown. It has four centers, all located on the springing line. Florentine arch, this is similar to Venetian arch except that the int aradus is a semi-circle. The arch has thus three centers, all located on the springing line. Classification based on number of centers. The arches may be classified as one-centered arch, segmented arches, flat arches, horseshoe arches, bullseye arches come under this category. Two-centered arch, an arch whose int aradus curve, inner curve of an arch is called as int aradus curve, is described from two centers. Pointed arches such as gothic and lancet arches come under this category. Three centered arch, an arch whose int aradus curve is described from three centers. Elliptical arches come under this category. 
four centered arch, a low elliptical or pointed arch, usually drawn from four centers is called as four centered arch. It has four centers. Venetian arch is a typical example of this type. Another example is Tudor arch. Five centered arch, this type of arch, having five centers, gives a good semi elliptical shape. Classification based on material and workmanship. Stone arches, stones are mainly used in these arches. Brick arches, quality of bricks are used in these arches. Concrete arches, such arches are made from precast concrete blocks, each block being cast in the mold to the exact shape and size of voussoirs. Cement concrete of 1 colon 2 colon 4 mix is usually used. Lintels A lintel is a sort of beam, which is placed across the opening. The width of a lintel is equal to the width of the wall and the ends of which are built into the wall. Lintels are simple and easy to construct. Lintels are classified into the following types according to the materials of the construction. Timber lintels, these are relatively costlier, structurally weak, and vulnerable to fire. Sometimes timber lintels are strengthened by the provision of mild steel plates at their top and bottom, such lintels are called flitched lintels. Stone lintels, these are common in usage where stone is abundantly available. Dressed stone lintels give good architectural appearance. Stone is very weak in tension and cracks develop if subjected to vibratory loads. Brick lintels, these are not structurally strong and they are used only when the opening is small and loads are light. Steel lintels, these are provided where the opening is large and the loads are heavy. It consists of steel channels either used singly or in combination of two or three units. Reinforced cement concrete lintels, because of their strength, rigidity, fire resistance, economy, and ease of construction, the RCC lintels are widely used. These can be used on any span. It is kept equal to the width of the wall. RCC lintels are also available as precast units. Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.